Hey everybody, my name is Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. This is my new office and I've been here for quite some time, but I've recently done some rearrangements with my setup, etc. This stuff is not important. <laughs> What's important is the video. So in my last video, we talked about um, Bluehost and how I've got a new, how they are now the people that are serving up my website. So this video, we're gonna talk about like how to SSH into your website and get that going. Um, essentially, it's connecting your GitHub repository to Bluehost. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. So if you're interested in that, please stay tuned and continue watching this video to the end. Any questions that you have throughout the video, make sure to put them below and I will make sure to answer those um, when I see them. All right, let's go. All right, so there are docs that you could refer to on how to do this. Um, but you know, if you get stuck, and I will link those before uh, you know below as well so that you could see them. But here's how I was able to set up SSH. I want you to know that I did this with a private GitHub repository. So those are gonna that's gonna be my focus in this video is if you have a private GitHub repository and you want to connect it to Bluehost. How do you do that? So that's what we're going to be focusing on. Uh, when you set up SSH, essentially it's allowing you to go back and forth uh, from Git to the server and then from the server to Git. So let's say you make a change on your computer in Git and you, you push it up and you say, hey, I changed something, you push it up and then you essentially want that same change on your website, you would SSH into your server and it's kind of like logging into your server and saying, hey, I made a change. Let me pull down these changes um, that I have and like push them over to you, the server. So that's essentially what we're doing. And then the inverse of that would be you made a change and on the server and now you want that change to be on your github repository we will do a whole video about how to an example on that next time but for now we're going to talk about how to set that up so on your bluehost account you're going to navigate to the advanced section after logging into your account you're going to search for ssh and then you're going to proceed to set up new keys and um, these are going to be for enabled to, they're going to enable you to log into your server. Um, and if you're c familiar with like Git and the workflow of like how to set up SSH keys, you may have keys already set up and stored on your laptop. Um, these are essentially different keys for a different server. So instead of your local server on your laptop, these keys are now going to be for your server, for your website. So that's the difference between what those keys are, where they're stored. They're usually stored under the same ID underscore um, RSA file name. They're just used for different purposes because they're in different locations. That's it. This is, this could be kind of confusing. If it is definitely uh, questions below, I might have to do some follow-up uh, follow video to explain any more of this, but definitely do let me know if you have questions. Next, you're gonna need to set up a user that you log into when you are on your server, if you don't have one already. I believe by default, Bluehost sets one up for you. Um, but how you can confirm that is um, that you go to your user settings and um, you'll need to make sure that your user has um, permissions for web, FTP, and email. And that is the one that I use as my admin. I consider this user my admin user. And if you have a user set up that has those permissions, then you are good to go. Technically, you don't need um, to have like the email setting, but I just use the user that has the email setting in it. You can create a new user if you would like to do that. Um, 
And do keep in mind that when you do set up a user, you do have a password associated with that user. So keep that somewhere uh, where you can refer back to it because you will need that. We're gonna head on over to our terminal on our laptop now. And I'm using just normal terminal for Mac. Um, and then I'm gonna log into my server. So in order to do that, I'm going to use um, this syntax, which is SSH dash P, and that's gonna be your port. So your port is gonna, for me, it's two, 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 two. And then you're also gonna have your username, which is why that username is important. And then you're gonna have at whatever your domain name is. So there's an example that I have, ssh-p22222, tiff123, at tiffanythompson.tech. So um, that would be my way of logging into my server. You will have to use the credentials that are on your account in order to log into your server. Um, so after you've all you've done that, it's gonna ask for your, your password for your username. I remember I mentioned the password for a user, so you'll go ahead and use that same password. And then once you once you logged in, you're going to um, you know copy and paste um, your keys. and then paste it into your GitHub settings. You're gonna to navigate to where you clone your project. So basically how you do this is you git clone and then you grab your link from GitHub. You're able to hit enter and then all that all your project files get ported over to your server. And that's it. If you navigate to your website, you should be able to see your website live. It should have all the files there that are on your GitHub. That's it. <laughs> And I will provide some uh, additional documentation on setting up your SSH keys because GitHub, I believe it's GitHub's website, has um, wonderful documentation of like copying them and pasting them and those commands on how to do that. So definitely uh, check the description box for the resources that are going to be helpful for you and, this, and we'll hopefully answer some of those questions that you also have. So hopefully this video was helpful for you um, and then you were able to connect your private repository to Bluehost. Uh, again, if you have further questions and you've already checked the resources in the description box below, make sure to leave your questions uh, in the comments below. And if this was helpful for you, make sure to give this video a like. And thank you so much for checking this video out. Until next time, take care of yourself and be kind to others. And I'll see you next time. Bye.